house, I had this baby waiting for me outside. So of course, I needed to tell you what I think about it. Quick AF. Hell yeah, I brought it with me. I put it on quick as fuck in the truck around three in the afternoon. I had it on for about seven hours. Did my wear test. I was only wearing a wig concealer. Nothing else was on my face. I did check-ins, came home, took it off, and now we are about to do this together again. Let me give you all the tea about this foundation. I have the new Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. It's $58, made in Korea. It comes with one ounce. And this is supposed to be a weightless liquid foundation that delivers 16 hours medium buildable coverage with a natural soft glow finish. That sounds promising. This collection is inspired by the iconic ambient lighting collection, which is these beautiful powders that we all love from Hourglass. And that comes with powder, blush, bronzer, and all that. Right now, we're going through like a little situation when it comes to Hourglass and this palette basically shades in general they have to step their game up when it comes to their shade range for sure a lot of people are mad because they keep coming out with these palettes and they basically have the same shades and they're not dark enough for deep skin complexion you see that I really hope that they did what they were supposed to do when it comes to the shades of this new foundation. I mean, the light one looks very light and the darker shades looks very dark. But if you have dark, deep skin complexion and you get this foundation, you have to let us know if it was a good match for you. Yes, we get a pump. It is available in 32 shades. I got the shade 6.5. It is for light, medium skin with neutral undertones and that looks good we're gonna leave it sitting there to see if it oxidized let's see how this shade looks on this skin and going off the claims this is supposed to be very blurting it's going to give you like a light diffusing effect it's going to make the skin look smooth even glowy mm, i definitely like 6.5 on my skin also, the first ingredient of this foundation, it's water and it doesn't have alcohol. Before we apply the foundation on the face, I also picked up the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation Brush. It's $47 and made in China. I know it's pricey, but what can we expect coming from Hourglass, right? It's very pretty. I love the shape of it. I know this is going to give a lot of coverage. It's supposed to be gluten-free and the bristles have vegan fiber technology and they're also custom. It's supposed to mimic the fingertips. I apply one pump into the brush. It's supposed to be transfer proof light blue protection and non con mythology i don't know how to pronounce that word wow look how blurry this formulation is it's really lightweight a little bit goes a long way you definitely don't need a lot of foundation look at that it already covered everything that it was supposed to cover it and the coverage it's definitely a nice, solid medium of rip. You don't even have to build it up. And I'm loving the fact that the formulation is not too thick, but it's not too runny. I'm impressed with the coverage to the point that in this side, we're gonna be using another brush because I really wanna see if it's the foundation or maybe the brush. The foundation glides in the skin. It was extremely easy to blend, no streaking at all. And it feels so comfortable on the skin. It's given second skin finish for sure. I'm loving this velvety soft matte finish. Wow, look at the way it perfected the skin. This is reminding me of the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop, but of course in a full, you know, foundation form and with a lot more coverage. One pump, One pump. gave, me, gave this. me this. And I know that you're seeing the same thing I'm seeing. Look how it looks with and without. Pores where? Like it blurred every freaking damn thing in my face. My pores, my texture, everything. Lights and I brought you all the way in. Look at this. With and without. Wow, that's a big ass deal. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful it looks. This side, I'm gonna be using my Rare Beauty Foundation. I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the other side. One pump. And let's see. Yes, I'm getting a lot less coverage with this Rare Beauty brush for sure. 
and it's making the foundation look more natural. This one is the one with the hourglass brush. You can actually see how much coverage I got right here compared to this one. Wow. Damn, I didn't expect this brush to be that good. I only needed one pump to get almost like full coverage. With this brush, I'm definitely gonna need another pump. I apply one pump to the new hourglass brush and I'm gonna reapply a little bit more right here. You see how it immediately gives the coverage? I don't know what I'm liking more, if the foundation or the brush. <laughs> it's spot on, I'm not blending it down my neck and it's not looking weird. Look how nice this brush fits right here between your brows, right here. Like it gives a lot of control and precision and then it immediately gives you coverage. That's sick. I am gonna apply another pump so we can see if we can bring it up to full coverage which definitely with this brush yes i don't know what it is but this brush it's making this foundation look 10 times better yes i lower my lights i brought you all the way in i'm done with the foundation but i want you to check everything out Let me go finish on my complexion and I'll be back. I also want to see how does it blend the concealer. Okay, so besides, it's giving me more coverage than what I normally get with this concealer that I'm using. I'm using the one from Love Yourself Beauty. Wow. Now you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna blend this side with the Rare Beauty brush, like I normally do. In this side, I use this brush, and then in here, I used the Rare Beauty brush, and look at that. Baby, the proof is in the pudding. I'm using the same concealer, and I got more coverage in this under eye. It's the brush. <laughs> I'm back, my concealer and my contour is on check. It blended beautiful on top of the foundation. I haven't applied any powder yet. And to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to because the foundation is not too emollient, so it's not feeling sticky. You do feel a little bit of tackiness, but very, very lightly. The powders are blending beautiful on top of this foundation, wow. Now we're gonna be using the blush from the Sculpture Unlocked. We're done with the application part of this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like the look. And if you don't like it, still give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Where? And what out. And I only applied a little bit. I love the coverage. It's like the perfect natural coverage. And it's blurring. Look how much it's perfecting the skin. This is what out. See on my redness, my pigmentation. It's like three in the afternoon and I'm applying this on the truck because I'm in a rush. I'm leaving to Orlando tonight, well, like around four in the morning. And you know what? We gotta do what we gotta do. I have to show you guys this foundation tonight. So I'm gonna apply it on right now. I'm gonna have it on for whatever the rest of the day and Let's see how it looks at the end of the day. But damn, so far, mm, it's given. I don't know how we're gonna do this today, but I'm going through it. I am doing so many things today. And then I got the hourglass foundation. I have it on my face, obviously. But I still haven't done my eyes. I haven't applied bronzer, contour, none of that. And I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. For a couple of hours, I'm going to have to have it on for at least four or five hours before I get home. And then I'm going to have to give you my final thoughts because then I'm out and I won't be here till tomorrow night. And I want to get this video out for you guys ASAP. Say hi, sweetie. Thank you. My eyes are watery and it's pissing me off. But this is how it looks outside. So pretty. To be honest with you, it's impressing me.
the finish, the coverage, everything about it looks so good. I'm done with Walmart. I bought a bunch of shit. I'm tired. I'm a little bit sweaty. I'm done. I was walking so much. I haven't looked at myself in the mirror, but let me show you. This is how things are looking. Remember that I didn't set the foundation at all. And it barely transferred. All right, babe, so I'm home. It's 8.30 something at night, and then this is what we have. I'm about to take it off, start recording, go through the application process, give it my final thoughts, do all that good stuff. Well, so far, this is what we have, and let me tell you that this foundation doesn't look bad at all with nothing else on it. Nine out of 10, there's some foundation, most of the foundations, that if you don't apply some type of definition to the face, bronzer, blush, at least something, they look crazy and this one is not looking crazy at all like it's looking like my skin but better just look how perfect it looks on top of my pore area i was wearing a mask and it didn't transfer i have everything on my face even right here on the side of my nose that most of the foundations are always cracking in there mm -mm. it didn't set on dry patches it's not looking weird on in the side of my mouth. Damn, it looks flawless all around. And then you see that pretty natural glow. See? Without looking greasy or oily. I don't want to be dramatic and no, I'm not being extra. I don't think I ever told you guys of one use. Yo, that's my favorite product, but I'm about to do it with this brush. I was not expecting to love it this much and I really didn't want to recommend it to you the way that I'm recommending it to you right now because it is expensive. $47 for a brush, it's up there, but baby, if you're willing to pay the price and you're looking for a good foundation brush and concealer, because even though I don't like big brushes for concealer, this brush blended my concealer on point the way it keeps coverage that's another story <laughs> wow this one is my favorite brush the one from bobby brown but i'm gonna have to use this for at least two or three more times before i stand here on my ground and tell you that this brush from hourglass it's better than this one from bobby brown just because i love this brush and i've been loving it for so long so i feel bad telling you that right now but I don't know which one is better and this is definitely a thousand times better than this one from rare beauty you can't compare at all they're on different levels i definitely think that the brush makes a big difference when it comes to the application of the foundation but i haven't been this happy about a foundation for a hot minute now everything about this foundation it's flawless it's super lightweight it feels so comfortable on the skin your skin but better the most pretty velvety soft matte finish right now it's looking amazing i mean it's fresh but you saw how beautiful it looked earlier after seven hours when i was doing the wear test it didn't get greasy oily at all so it's perfect for oily skin and if you have dry skin it's heaven it doesn't sit on dry patches it doesn't emphasize size texture it doesn't make your pore area look worse See, before when i told you that it felt a little bit tacky it goes away you don't have to set it with powder if you don't want to love that it have the perfect amount of glow like it looks super natural but it doesn't look glowy which is a perfection for summer i honestly did so much with this foundation on i've been in a rush all day long up and down i was sweating it was super super hot outside and this foundation felt so comfortable on the skin it didn't give me no issues at all so this is definitely not something that you have to be on top of it taking care of it all day long this is more like hey put it on if you're in a rush forget about it go do your thing and you know you're gonna look good really quick i have one of my babes that asked me how do i compare this foundation from valentino to this new one from hourglass let's swatch it if i'm not mistaken i think this one is gonna be a lot more natural of rip the formulation is more runny and see it's a lot more glowy and then i also want to compare really quick to this one from givenchy this one is the matte version so i think this one is a little bit more like it put a little bit of this one from hourglass right here so the formulation from the hourglass foundation 
To the touch feels softer than this one from Givenchy. This one from Givenchy is thicker. It's something that I always, always have to set with powder. Same thing with this one from Givenchy. I didn't felt the urge at all, not even right now, not even after seven hours, to apply any type of powder on top of this foundation. You know what? Let's cut the chase. I'm in love, I'm obsessed, and you need it in your life period don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this foundation and the brush of course do you like it you don't like it do you want it you don't want it let me know and i love you to the moon and back Mwah. see you on the next one